Hi, I'm Frederick Le Guin, and let me show you what I have done this year for the Excel Ash Challenge 2021. This year the challenge was not easy at all. What I have done, it's a full dashboard to follow the activity of my employee. What I have used, it's the dynamic array, the cutout people, the lambda function, and also the event function. I show you this in this video. So, to solve this challenge, I'm going to open a blank workbook, and then I'm going to connect to my SQL Azure database. It's very simple. When you have Microsoft 365 E3, you can easily connect to your database just by filling the server name and the database name and also your credential. When it's done, automatically Power Query shows a table selected. And the beauty of this is automatically Power Query detects the relationship between your tables and you just have to click and expand the content of the second table and you can select just few fields like I do here, service, gender and first name. Then I use Power Query to clean a little bit my data with filter and remove colon. Also very important in this scenario it's to add two extra colon, one to extract the year and one to extract the week number in function of the value of the date. And when it's done, I just have to close and load my data to Excel. Now, I'm going to create three different drop-down lists. And to do that, I'm going to use the function unique of the colon year. And like that, I return just the two years, 2019 and 2020. And I do the same for the week of the year, but this time I need to sort my data. And again, I copy the same formula, but this time for the colon service. When it's done, I go to a new worksheet and there I write the three names of my criteria. And for the first one, I create my first drop-down list with data validation and the source of my data validation is a result of the extraction of the year. And because it's a dynamic array, I just have to put the symbol hash to indicate that the source is not only one cell, but all the cells returned by the dynamic array. I use that for the first cell. I copy and I paste special validation and I just have to change the source for the two other drop-down lists. I set three values for my criteria and then I just copy the header of the first five column to build the rest of my dashboard. And then here I'm going to create my function filter to return the value in function of my criteria. So I select the first five column and my criteria, the first one is the year. And I select the column and it's equal to what? The value here. And when I close, I return all the value for the year 2020 and I change the format. Short date for the column A and time for the column B. But here I just use one criteria and not the three. The trick here is to put between parentheses the first criteria times and I build the second criteria. This time the week of the year equal to the cell B2 and again times and this time the last criteria on the service. Like this. And when I change the value of some criteria, automatically my filter function returns another result. Now, for each selection, I'm going to calculate the time spent for the male and female. And to do that, very simple, I just create a SUMIFS function for the three criteria. And I add a fourth criteria on the gender and I write directly here, female. And here is the result. But this function is quite complex and could be easily corrupt. This is why I'm going to write it inside a lambda function to create my own formula. So first I lock the two criteria and this female will be my criteria. So I copy all the formula without the equal and 
inside formula I define a new name and my name is working time and refer to it's where I'm going to write my lambda function I open my parenthesis and the name of my variable gender I paste the rest of the formula close the parenthesis for lambda and replace female by the variable name gender and I just test it by calling it working time open the parenthesis add the variable here female and I have exactly the same result as the previous result with some if s I copy it and replace female by male and now just like that I have the result also for the men and when I change one criteria of my dashboard immediately the two lambda function returns the correct value now I must change the format of the result by a custom format with hours between brackets to return the hours over 24 hours and I do the same for the men now it's done so I have to embed these two results inside a cutout people picture so I select the first one and the second one for the men Here are nothing really complex, just to adjust the size of the picture and I zoom in or zoom out in Excel to adjust the two pictures. But here, as you can see, it's impossible to see through the board. Here is a trick. First, what I'm going to do is to focus on the first picture and zoom in and draw the border of the shape with a rectangle. I need to remove content and the shape I change the color and the size like this and here is a trick when it's done I put the rectangle backward so for the moment you don't see it but no problem I select the picture go to picture format color and set transparent color for what for the color of the board and like that the rectangle is now the limit of the transparent board. Very simple. Last thing, I have to group these two pictures. So I select picture for and rectangle and group them. So like that, I can easily change the size of both the picture and the rectangle. And I do the same for the men. Okay, great. So now I have two cutout people for the woman and for the man. And when I change the criteria, automatically I can display the result of the time worked for the man and the woman inside the board. Now the last part of the challenge, the even function. As you can notice, it's not very easy to visualize when the result is for men or female. So the trick is, I write zero and then the if s function to write more than one criteria. The first one is just to test if e9 is empty and if it's the case I return nothing. Then I compare the result between two cells d9 and d8. If it's different I take the content of the previous value plus one and then true which means all the rest of the situation I just take the previous result and like that when I copy this formula to a wide range of cells you can see that each time there is a break between male and female the value is one two three and so on and now i'm going to use this result inside a conditional formatting where i'm going to create my own rule and the rule is does the value of this cell equal the even of the same cell and if it's the case i change the background of the cell in green 
I return to conditional formatting and change the range where to apply this rule. I manually I say 250. And when I apply, you can see that when it's male, it's no field. And when it's female, there is a different color. So it's easy to visualize. And when I change one of the criteria, it's changed everywhere. I remove the grid line and the challenge is done. This video is now over. I hope you like it. And if you like all the tricks I show you during this demo, please vote for this video. And don't forget to see the other video of my friend, the other MVP. Bye.